Hey guys, this is Shubham Deep. Today I will explain the categories of recursion with the program. So in prior lecture, I was explain the recursion with the definition and program, and uh, uh, also was told the definition of uh, categories of recursion, which is direct and indirect recursion. Okay, so let's uh, start. So. First, I want to tell you some important point about the recursion, which is written down here. Okay, it is essential to call a function itself; uh, otherwise, recursion would not take place. Okay, and only the user-defined function can be invoked in recursion. A recursive function can be invoked by itself or by any other function. And to stop recursive function, it is necessary to use proper terminating statement or exit or return type of functions okay i mean uh, you must have used any condition any terminating statement for executing the loop for ex uh, stop execution of function okay so this is the important points about the recursion and you can easily understand this okay so now I will show you both that and in that recursion. Okay, so wait, please. Yeah. So this is the program that I was explaining in prior lecture. Okay, this is the same program, and you can see according to direct uh, definition of direct recursion, when a function call itself again and again, this is called direct recursion. And here you can see that. Uh, I am calling if uh, I am first. I am printing a statement in any number for for a table. That means I will I will uh, provide I will print the table of odd number. If the number is even, then it will execute. It will print this statement and uh, will call itself again, which is here. Okay, you can see that main function again calling itself main means this is the example of direct recursion okay and i have been explained you uh, this program in 20 in uh, 35th lecture okay so uh, if you want to know the explanation of uh, this program you can proceed on that lectures okay so today i will explain i mean now i will explain the example of indirect recursion okay so here wait please So this program will explain the concept of indirect recursion. Okay, so whenever you implement the program of recursion, so please must add a header file which is has include process dot h. Okay, and uh, in this uh, program, I have a, a user defined function which is sum, and uh, under the main function, I have a three variable int integer type which is x y and f okay and this program will calculate the addition of two odd numbers okay here you can see if again i'm telling you this program will calculate the addition of two odd numbers if uh, and i'm telling you how here the global declaration of some function and has a parameter int and uh, after that i under the main function i have a three integer variable x y and f uh, after that i am printing a statement which is enter any two odd numbers for addition okay and that number will be stored i mean it it's asking for any uh, two odd numbers from the user and that uh, number will be stored at the address of x and y okay and after that here you can see I am calling a function sum, okay, which is written down here, which is definition is written down here, and it has an argument which uh, x and y means the value of uh, x and y will be transferred from here to here, okay. And here you can see that I have a two variable a and b integer type which it will cache the value of x and y, okay. So here I taken a integer type variable sum okay and here i'm checking that if uh, a means the remainder of a or the remainder of b is zero that's mean it's a checking for 
even if the number is even even of any one then it will execute this statement and will print that please enter odd numbers only okay and again it will call main function you can see that yeah main function is here to here okay so you can see under main function i am calling sum okay which is written down here and under sum function i am calling main here okay so this is the indirect recursion and whenever the if the if this condition is true then controller will transfer to the main function else it will execute this statement okay which is sum is equal to a plus b means addition of a and b okay and again here i am returning value of sum okay to here uh, it will return the value of sum here and after that here i am printing the value of f which is the addition of two odd numbers okay so i am going to end this program so here you can see the enter any two odd numbers for addition okay suppose i valid any five and one even number which is four okay so it is saying that please enter odd numbers only okay again i am telling you four and uh, one again it's say, saying that please odd numbers uh, only because i provided a uh, even four and a uh, odd number and wait please yeah and both value both value must be e must be odd numbers okay because here i am using the odd operator so it will check uh, for both condition if any condition of them is true then it will execute the this block okay so means i have to provide two odd numbers okay so in tiny two no odd numbers okay five and uh, three okay so you can see that the addition of odd numbers is eight okay so that's mean our program is correct and this is the concept here i am again telling you wait please yeah here under the main function i am calling sum function okay which is declared here as a global and again whenever the sum function will execute it has another a fun function which is main okay here i am calling main if the condition is true okay so this is this is the main is written down here okay so this is the concept of indirect recursion okay so thanks for watching my video if you have any problem any query related to video so you can put on my channel okay so now please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video okay so thank you and bye